Hello everybody, welcome to Naf Ladder Season 1. Um, here we have the Dark Elves that I've done absolutely terribly with recently, um, so that's fun. Up against um, Randy Tanner's Black Orc team, which this is kind of like, a it's a rough rule set for Black Orcs to be honest, it's not the best for them. Um, they're not the strongest in this format, they don't get their bribes which is you know kind of what they want to make them competitive and uh the skill package for them you know they, they get a few more skills than, than the other teams but it's it's you know it's it's rough it's rough is what i'm saying is that the big the biggest thing is just not getting the bribes if, if they got a couple of bribes the high roll would be a lot better but we saw from the um season two finals that you know if they do high roll and they get a bunch of removals then it gets very difficult for elves so you know it's it's definitely it's definitely possible for them to do all right but they've really got to get the uh removals going you know that's how they win if they remove a bunch of players they can beat you um but i'm going to be you know very aggressive try to try to turn them over because they're having to carry the ball with a goblin and you know goblins aren't great players that's uh <laughs> That's pretty much it, and obviously if you go up 2-0, you pretty much win, so you've got to be playing for the win here as, uh, as elves. I'll have to put in the links in all the descriptions to all the Nathalada stuff. Um, so yeah, that will be there in the description if you want to find out more about the Nathalada. I might make a video tonight or tomorrow morning and then uh, start uploading all of the NAF ladder games that I've had. Which will be good. And I should I have to do one for Sol as well, the, the Sol Euroball thing. So there you go. Probably do them. I should be able to do them tomorrow, actually. I planned on doing things today but just slept all day. Literally just slept for 12 hours today. It was pretty amazing. Well, last night. last night and so, a lot of today yes movement slayer yeah in super league <laughs> i thought i was out i thought i was out because um movement slayer was playing strider <laughs> with black orcs and i thought oh my god like what chance to what chance do they have? Again, not not a slight to Moonslayer. I just thought, what chance do Blackhawks have against uh, against Woodies? And it turned out the chance was banging them out. And it was the same with Inarin, I think, as well. I think Inarin with Blackhawks, I think he uh, he beat some L's, didn't he? So, crazy. I've gone for a somewhat unusual Delph build. Most people go for the four blitzers. Um, I went only three so I could get an extra reroll. What I would do, funnily enough, is I'm not sure anybody did it in Euroball. Um, if we had the mascot inducement, I would have four dodge blitzers and a block and wrestle. And a block and wrestle witch elf, and then I would have taken the team mascot inducement. That's what I think the best thing is. But there is no way to roster inducements in this. So there you go. Appling the <laughs> KO there is interesting, isn't it? Because, you know. It kind of sucks, but because he might he might make reveals, but it's turn one, so you're getting maximum value out of applying it potentially.
Troll stupid here is quite good. Does not go stupid, gets a power. Ooh, instant send off. Shame he's got a bribe. And the argue the call worked. Oh my god. I'm just going to go straight for the ball. Let me uh, put my auto clicker on. <laughs> Don't like clicking fourteen hundred times to do anything. Oh, now she's going to get fouled and killed. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh, shit. Maybe this guy should have come in first. He could have stood up there, couldn't he? Then he could have been recovery. Oh yeah, my witch house is gonna die now. Well, okay. Not the best move I've ever made. Should just try to pick off an edge. Black Hawk and foul it maybe. But you know, 75% of the time I win the game basically, so I thought. Let's go for that. She does get. Of course, she does get cast instantly. Every mistake must be fully punished. And even then, it might not even be a mistake. There's always deep a pop ball. But it is the way that Black Hawks win, isn't it? That's the problem. The problem is, is it is the way Blackhawks win this game. It's like the only way Blackhawks win this game. Fuck me. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> this is a two plus, isn't it? Because that troll went stupid. That was just incredible, wasn't it? Six dice do nothing. Get a witch elf cast and then do nothing off six dice. Not the best. Yeah, maybe I just shouldn't play delves ever again. 
Maybe I should just stick with one team and become an expert at it. Six dice, don't knock him over, Kaz. <laughs> Flip me. Randy was so close <laughs> to just completely messing up. Quite like him to go there. Yeah. It's just a three two, isn't it? What about going around this way? But that's tackle. Snakes. Never lucky. Why has it got to be snakes? So two cars is pretty brutal in uh, three turns. But, oh, one in nine. You know, I've got the ball on the ground. I guess this guy could have double G if I had to pick it up. Eh? Not in a tackle zone, maybe should have done. I was knowing it for leaving this guy just on him. I guess I should have gone there and if I pop dodge leave him. But you know, I wanted more people around the ball. And obviously these guys could have dodged at the end. At least this one would have dodged at the end. And probably gone around to where he stood there. Maybe here. Here. Who knows?
Yes, the boomer, yeah. I don't know if he didn't realise the troll had gone stupid, but yeah, he was quite happily playing there with the ball completely exposed for a lot of actions, yep. Hey, all right. So, I think I just blitz the, uh, a goblin. Knocking him down is pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, G five. So he tries to score at the end. Good. I guess these guys just stand up just in case. Right, he's still got dodge. If he didn't have dodge, the jump would have been the best thing, right? Now I can double dodge. And I can GFI. Ha ha ha! So, being 1 0 up after 4 turns is good, being down to 9 players is bad. There's uh, some pro analysis for you. Next level knowledge.
if I can get 2 0 up this half. And, uh, there you go. Thanks, De Bruyne, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> it's not the day. It's funny, isn't it? Because I really don't know why anyone keeps coming back for, but um, maybe I should do, like, Discord uh, questionnaires and stuff to get feedback. But uh, thanks to everyone who does. Oh, my God, that two dice could have been a double score. I don't know if you're just ripping the pistol of the burrito, but thanks. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> thanks to Freeman. <laughs> yeah. It's funny, isn't it? It's a funny old game, Blood Bowl. I've got some. I've had some good feedback recently. I should ask, you know, people feedback, like genuine feedback. It's probably a good idea because uh, you know, I want. I want it to be the best stream it can be. Because this is this is going to be my little thing now. Honestly, for like eight years, I've just. I've just spewed forth, you know, random nonsense and played games that I didn't really want to play. <laughs> Through a lot of it. A lot of it I did want to play. You know, there, there, were, there were good times. I wasn't always miserable when playing Blood Bowl, but I was through a lot of it. And now I want to try and... Uh, be better. If only the witch elf was in the middle, I could have surfed this guy, couldn't I? She could still double GFI. What do I do here? Blitzing this guy is great, right? Because it opens like a massive channel. But the problem is it needs three players to do. So the channel that it opens, there aren't the players to exploit it. Could block here and then try and surf him. But it's like double GFI I'm left on the sideline. That seems terrible. Starting with a dodge here it seems a bit rubbish because it's without dodge because you've got tackle. But then it's like the best place to assist. Yes! Well, that's why I watch for things like this to happen. Flip me, guys. Apple didn't even work. Beautiful. good is standing there as opposed to standing here 
not really better. Okay, so... Well, he's not touching the ball sucks a bit because he doesn't have to clear these. He can just walk around. But then if he walks around, then I've got elves in places, haven't I? Which is good. <laughs> no, thanks, Uncle Sherry. Sure. VTuber. Thanks to Bruno. Yeah, that was all right, wasn't it? They were pretty good dice then. They were pretty good dice. I'm trying, I'm trying with a positivity. I am trying. Nice. I don't know, I kind of have felt good this like past week. So that's nice, isn't it? I felt good for a week. <laughs> After eight years, I felt good for a week. That's pretty good. Literally eight years ago, I had seven years and 11 months was when I started. No, 10 months. Eh, no, more like 11 months. Yeah. About eight years ago is when I got ill. And haven't really felt good for about eight years <laughs> which isn't great is it oh, full power This is the, even this isn't bad because he's got all of his good players behind the ball. So, um. Can. Come around here. Blitz him. Go in. Move him first. Maybe tag him up there. Put him there. Move him up now. So I guess he should have been there already, but. Now I've got a better understanding of where where I wanted him to be. This guy just goes there to make the assists on him harder. And still got another one back, actually. So yeah, now his guys are behind the ball. He's in a bit of a pickle, isn't he? A bit of a pickle. Maybe I could have had two players on this gobble. Full pow! Yeah, tackle anyway, but still. I might even bring the face cam back. There you go, that's... Something that I've never really cared about, whether people had face cams or not, but other people seem to care, don't they? <laughs> Sorry, to whom?
I think so. I, I took I, I, it came back for like about a month, didn't it? In twenty twenty two, where I was when I was happy for like a month. <laughs> I was happy and positive for a month then. Two two and a half years ago. Um, and I'm I've been happy and positive for a week now. So who knows? I mean, the thing is, Stradi K, some people are, aren't they? That's the thing with, like, Blood Bowl being, like, so small and tight-knit. You know, like, plenty of people have gone to tournaments and and met the uh, the various streamers and various viewers and that, haven't they? So it's not, it's not like, you know, it's not the same as watching, you know, some big streamer who's a millionaire and pretending you're his friend. <laughs> Yeah. Right, so there's there's so he's got the troll next to the goblin. Um So that's interesting, isn't it? So I want many players on the troll so he can't throw the goblin. I could blitz him. So, but then I haven't got a block at the blitz him. And also I could just try to... Uh... I, could, I can't put some... Because this guy's knocked down, I can't put a player here to push, to push him away. No, I couldn't push him anyway. Anyway, what could I do? I could push... I could block him there and then serve him, right, if I had a player in there. Yeah, if I had a player in here, I could have pushed him to there and then pushed him to there and then, like, tried to serve him somehow. This is pretty hard. It's all packed in pretty tight, isn't it? Four, five seems bad. A three, four isn't good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. And then I push him there, which isn't. Uh, it's kind of. I think that's kind of best. The problem is having a scoring threat of my own. Right. Base him first. Scoring threat. player in the way. Blitz the ball. Oh, I didn't make this up too, do you? Oh my god, I'm in more. Just full power, no problem. <laughs> and he catches it on him. Well... That probably gives us the defence, I would imagine. So he's just going to hand off to this goblin, so he just has to clear this goblin here. And I can't really stop him from clearing here. Yeah, this witch all should have gone round and tagged up here, right? That's what I should have done first. That would have been a 2D. That was a bit unlucky that he caught it, otherwise it you know, could have just been out and it could have been another touchdown. He can't do anything with him, so he's going to have to throw with the troll. So if I try and stand where the troll might throw... Two.
<laughs> fair enough, Uncle Sean. Yeah, yeah, fair enough, Strategy. Yeah, no, I don't. I mean, I, I agree with you. I, I don't need it at all. But then, on the other hand, you know, it's. I mean, I think it is. I think it is better. Yeah, at the end of the day. But I don't know. Who punched me? This guy. So he's just definitely going to surf me, so I should just get knocked over. Like, it's an easy surf, isn't it? It's not a like so. He's got three rerolls, so he's just, you know, it's, it's a 1 in 81 chance of not getting surf that's not worth making him roll the dice. He's got to hand it off, lob him with a troll. And then uh, hope that he lands in one of these tackle zones to make it a bit harder. Maybe they should have gone back another one, so he'd have to dodge through them at least. I don't know if he could have done, maybe she could have gone back an extra squad. Don't know. battle of trying to do a throw teammate. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have um, kept a player here because the hell would it? Maybe they need to go further back. There's a good chance he just clears them with a throw, isn't there? There's a good chance he just lands here. If I, if I could have got further back, I don't. Was he was he prone and then? Yeah, he does the right thing. Goes the two forward. There's a good chance it just clears me completely. Doesn't end in the tackle zone. Yes. Oh, oh, and she catches it. Let's go. The problem is she's rubbish at throwing. So, I need to clear him with a 1D and then hand off to him who passes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Man, it really sucks, doesn't it? Elv elves in the old edition would just be passing this, no problem. This guy in tackle makes these dodges not a good idea. So I think I just do a 1D here. Nice. No intercept chance. So this is a 3-2, isn't it? And then two GFIs and then a pass. This is probably correct. There is, I could like dodge out to make that a 1D. I've got two re-rolls. That might be better. Two re-rolls, it might be better to to make this two plus dodge. And if I push him there, so I dodge up to here, and then do this 1D. Yeah, th th this dodge 
is worth it. Perfect. And with two rerolls, I definitely um, do both GFIs. Do the pass, do the catch. Choose! What a touchdown. That was pretty good, wasn't it? Right, 2 0 up. Still on 9. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, tanks. I mean, it was quite good, wasn't it? The making that little screen on the off chance of, of landing the ball in the 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 throw team it landing in it. So it was that you know at least the at least the player led to the failed landing roll, and then obviously very lucky to for it to catch it and stuff. But, uh, yeah, like the plan was always for somebody to hand it off to the thrower who runs up, but it did save a roll. And I think made the correct plays on the way to doing it. Oh, I could I can just blitz this guy. Oh, I can blitz a goblin. Okay, I'm definitely just blitzing the goblin. I mean, the temptation is to go for the 3 0, isn't it? Actually. But then. I think, I think, I think Dakarin is best. I've only got nine players. Right. Back we go. Glorious stacker. Full power. Oh, he can throw a goblin and try and kill the ball carrier, can't he? Yeah, sure, Dabu, but the like, thing is, like, the quick score, isn't it? And then if it works, you're 3-0 up and you've definitely won, whereas if you do a dacker and you get caught out, it's 2-1. That, that's the danger of the dacker, isn't it? But the problem is the two-turn touchdown isn't guaranteed is it people often act like we'll just bang it in in two and believe me if it was <laughs> if banging it in in two was a hundred percent guaranteed um i think the daca would lose a lot of usefulness but it it isn't that easy to quick score is it people act like you know elf quick scores are just just absolutely automatic and they're absolutely not automatic so that really does increase the value of the daca because, you know, <laughs> doing anything else is not, is not guaranteed.
These should have been there. It's not symmetrical enough. Not symmetrical enough. He really might throw a ball. <laughs> might throw a goblin at the ball. <laughs> Because <laughs> he can't really miss one of my players, can he? Yeah, that's a good point, Super G. That is a good point. Yeah. Like, I like Dakring in general. But the, the key thing for me is that the quick score isn't, isn't guaranteed. If the, kick, if the quick score was guaranteed, then uh, I would have definitely gone for the quick score. 3-0, game over, right? Because three nil the game is over. At two nil the game isn't over. He could potentially turn you over and turn you over again. But at three nil it's definitely over. But the two turn is not guaranteed. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Oh man, here we go. Oh, amazing. <laughs> he landed a terrible throw, amazing. <laughs> So he's kind of... These are all in the middle. These are equal. So he's got a goblin and a troll this side and a big on this side. So this side is weaker. Injured. Good. So I have to not go where I can just lose the ball out of bounds. Let's go full, full X cage. Why not? Eh? That stops any uh, goblin shenanigans, pretty much. Could do a GFI to get him almost turning the corner. I think that's okay. You know, maybe I could have maybe I could attack some players here, but if he crashes in hard, I've got the channel protected to run away. So it's not so easy for him to pressure this. Taking this way too seriously for bloody black orcs. Yeah, I know exactly, Dimmy. Yeah, yeah, it's Blackhawks <laughs> with uh, four players off the pitch and uh, you know movement four players. So you know, I I realise that I may be taking this too seriously, <laughs> but I'm just trying to you know talk about the game and the things that happen. You know, yeah, that was a good square for him to go on. I regretted leaving that square. There's a chance, Timmy, there's a chance. I probably maybe I should have, you know, typed somebody out. Hmm. 
Yeah, hey, this is this this is the same team to me that was losing all the others. <laughs> Oh, I mean, this is a little bit, I don't want to say tricky, but things could happen. I mean, let's just start with a buckles block. I just went for the surf. <laughs> Which, you know, maybe maybe I shouldn't have. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> maybe I was an idiot going for that surf. Imagine, imagine I could surf anybody ever. <laughs> yeah, maybe that was a bit stupid. Cast. Nice animation, mate. Don't even get to see it. Okay, so I guess what I should have done was, um, you know, just played sensibly and uh, blitzed either this goblin or this goblin to get down the side or through the middle. But instead I thought, you know, like surfing a black orc is really good. To, to be fair, surfing this black orc would have been great and it would have consolidated everything perfectly. But, you know, it's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, maybe I didn't think of that. That might have been better, yeah. That might have been better. Because I had to do a blockless block, didn't I? So. Which is not good. Not good to do a blockless block. Artemis in tatters, if he ever sees a blockless block. So, yeah. Yeah, that, that maybe would have been better. I, didn't, I just didn't. I didn't think of it. I just thought that I wanted to power. Yeah, honestly, if I'd powered this guy, then I think I'd go through the goblin. But because I didn't power him... Then I thought, well, you know, removing this black orc really helps, doesn't it? So. <laughs> Not even no. <laughs> Absolute rage. Shame that this is su such a hard dodge because it is really funny just to uphill surf the troll. And there's not really better options, is there? I guess this guy can come down to help somewhere. I mean, the witch elf is the funniest move. So that's got something going for it, hasn't it? Good. Good night, Uncle Sherman. Oh, he goes for the surf. Ah, diced. Yes, I will use Wrestle. Ooh. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. here actually so I can go three off again just so that's just stop goblin nonsense a bit more Did it jump look? Yes! <laughs> oh, that's a three plus. It's literally just the same as dodging, but it's funnier. <laughs> Blockless block. <laughs> yeah, the one day on the guard. Yeah, was wasn't great, was it? Like nothing was like the the, the uphill surf was like incredible if it works, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the thing. That, and I even could have uh, I even could have moved somebody off first so that it would have been a, a an uphill into a one. -er. Oh my god, the hat, the has of the high elves was the best thing, wasn't it? The hat. So good. A leapless jump. <laughs> oh, Tori. <toy>. Yep. <laughs> A leapless jump. I mean, that was obviously pretty, pretty terrible, you know, 75% dodge and stuff to set up that uphill <laughs> into uphill. <laughs> like, it wasn't the optimal way, but the optimal way wasn't, wasn't too good. So I thought, the payoff of how fun that was definitely made it worth it. That was fun for me, <laughs> trying to uphill surf a troll. It's pretty tricky, right? Loads of strength four players with guard. They're not easy to deal with when you're trying to get past them. But the good thing is, because they're movement four, if you go side to side, you, you get past them that way, don't you? Which, if you're daiquiring, you can't really do that so well. So it is tricky. Oh my god, troll foul on the witch. Outrageous. Outrageous. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. So nobody's got dodge now, which sucks a bit, doesn't it? And he'll go there to tag the tackler before he tries to dodge. Good. And then he can go 
don't know why he's going that way. Try and tug a guard out. And fail. Tagging out the tackle is very nice, isn't it? Oh baby, last action, which block now? <laughs> Might still get the uh I mean it's better obviously to dodge the witch because she's got jump up, but surfing the troll would still be funny, wouldn't it? I probably should have been trying to tag the more aggressively attempting to tag the tackler, I guess. Oh. Doesn't get the uphill double pals. Good. He hasn't got strip, has he? That's sure hands, not strip. Or is that a strip? Oh, it's strip. <laughs> I, didn't even, I, didn't even, I didn't even know what skill it was. <laughs> yeah. Push him to there and then dodge that guy out to protect me a bit. Where can the witch elf get to? Only there. Man, surfing the troll would be so funny, but I can't really do it, can I? Have, what can he reach? At the moment he cannot reach. So I don't want to punch him. Just go there. That makes it a bit harder for me to like do the Swarm the goblin swarm, right? Like, if it's should have obviously just moved this guy up first. Okay, I might have forgotten grab there. <laughs> so now he's got the chain on the strip ball, right? This is a good play from from me. This guy blocks him to there. This guy blocks him to there and follows. This goblin comes in and then he can block him and chain him forward. So this looked like a very safe tag, but actually because of grab. <laughs> I've let him chain this guy forward one. This is kind of crazy, isn't it? Kind of crazy how good the... The crap is in that situation. <laughs> yeah, fluffy brie. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, black orcs are, are just not a good team, unfortunately. Oh, it's turn sixteen. I don't even get a skull. Ah. Mm.
Yeah, I'm, I'm already on it. This guy has to GFI out of range. Right, now he can't be... Right, so now the, the game is now absolutely done. Hey. Worried about losing 2-1. <laughs> I was to me. <laughs> I was 2-0. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I literally just thought, oh, I can't score. I was so dejected about not being able to score. I thought, I've got to make sure he can't score. He can't score against me. I'm like, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking because obviously him stopping the score doesn't matter either because I couldn't score anyway. Like, I, that was so absolute just brain fart. Absolute, like, I don't know what I was thinking. Because I knew I couldn't score. And because I knew I couldn't score, I didn't want him to be able to score, so I got away, as far away from him as I could. It's just bizarre. I'm not kidding, I'm not kidding. Man. I've, I've got problems when it comes to having a normal working brain sometimes. Sometimes I'm alright, but yeah, sometimes that happens. <laughs> I've done that. I've done that before. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway. Don't say it's over! <laughs> anyway, GG, Andy. Thanks, Radhika. Yeah, I was happy about that one. And, uh, yeah. Not such a good Daka. I, mean, I really do need to practice the Daka more, especially with, like, bad L's, right? Like, obviously, once you get good L's, the Daka gets a lot better, but with bad L's, it's it's a bit harder. Um, but there you go. GG, Randy. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.